Oh, g'day. Look, sometimes you don't want to draw attention to yourself. It's a concept that somebody like Kanye West wouldn't be able to understand at all. Which is why Kanye wouldn't like the new Audi S3 sedan. This, this can sprint from 0 to 100 in 4.8 seconds. That's almost a full second faster than Ford's V8 Mustang. And it's faster than Porsche's Cayman. And it does it all without looking like it belongs to a divorced dad who's trying to impress a 23-year-old called Tisha. No, the Audi S3 sedan is so low-key looking that most people would have no idea that it's actually an animal. This is a car that allows you to slip into a crowd but know full well you could outrun all of them. In fact, it'd make the perfect getaway car. This is the latest S3 sedan. It sits under the hardcore RS3 and above the very domesticated A3. It might look a little bit low key, but this is a little beast. Audi doesn't stick that S badge willy nilly on its cars. Under the bonnet is a turbocharged four cylinder engine with a new seven speed dual clutch auto, which sends power to all four wheels. The only not so subtle hint that the S3 is a little monster is its roar. It's tiny. At just under 4.5 metres, it's shorter than a Mazda 3 sedan, which makes it a natural in cities where it can scamper through laneways and park in impossible places. But it looks like every other Audi, just scaled down. The S3 sedan is big enough. Just. I'm sitting behind my driving position and I can fit. Just. And in terms of headroom, there's enough. Just. The boot is actually pretty impressive in size. It's bigger than the A3 Sportback, which is the hatch version of the A3. And it's actually only just a little bit smaller than the A4, which is saying something. When the new Audi S3 sedan arrived in late 2016, it turned up looking just as understated and low-key as the previous one. There are some exterior changes though. Here's what to look for. Down the front we have redesigned headlights. They now have this little jagged bit. The front bumper's also restyled. Down the back we've got a restyled rear bumper. Aha! Uh -huh. Here's another indication that this is a bit of a beast. Quad exhaust. And Unlike some European cars, these are real. And another way to tell the difference between the new S3 from the old S3 are the indicators. They don't actually blink anymore, they do this. And there are some changes to the inside as well. Not these seats, these seats are pretty much exactly the same as you got on the previous S3. They're comfortable, they're supportive, they've got a little thing which pops out like that for your under thigh region support, which is always very good. No, the big news in the cabin is what Audi calls the virtual cockpit. And what that is, is basically a digital instrument cluster. Now you've got your speedo and your taco and you can make them larger or smaller, or you can morph them right out the way so that you just show your satellite navigation map. It's standard on the S3 and it's excellent. The S3 adds other new tech, such as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and new advanced safety equipment such as AEB and pedestrian detection. The best thing about the S3 sedan is driving it. Now the very first thing I do when I get into the car is I press that button right there. That turns off the stop start system. It's great at saving fuel but it's annoying. It tends to cut off the engine when you're coasting into traffic lights and you've got to turn the steering wheel to get it going again. The next thing I do is I press that button there. It's the drive select button and what that does, it changes your driving mode. I put it into dynamic and that firms up the suspension, it adds weight to the steering and it changes the throttle mapping for more spirited driving.
Now, the engine is only three kilowatts more powerful than the previous one, and it's, well, you can't really notice it. But what you can notice is the transmission. The old transmission was a six-speed dual clutch, and this is a seven-speed dual clutch, and it works like a dream. Now the S3 sedan is all-wheel drive, it's Quattro, that's what Audi calls their all-wheel drive. And most of the time when you're just cruising, it's just the front wheels which are doing the driving. When you're, when you're flooring it, when you're taking off, you've got all-wheel drive happening then. And when you're driving pretty spiritedly around twisty corners, that's when the all-wheel drive comes in as well. It will detect if there's a bit of a slippage going on and it will send the drive to the wheel that needs it basically makes you a better driver than you really are, which is fine by me. Anything I'm not a major fan of? Well, look, it's all really, really good stuff. It could probably do with a little bit more grunt. I can't believe I'm saying that, but it could, yeah, you could always do with more grunt, basically. The other thing I'm not a major fan of is the sound. Now. It does sound good, but it's the way the sound is created, which I don't think is that good. First, there's flaps in the exhaust, which give it that rich growl you can hear from the outside. On the inside, the sound is enhanced by a resonator, which is under the bonnet. It sounds good, I just don't like the way it's produced. Look, I think without it, it could still probably sound fantastic. But there is so much to like about this car. The ride is really comfortable, even on the low profile tires. The steering is sharp. The magnetic suspension is unbelievably good. It's brilliant to drive. And little things like my toddler can sit in his car seat in the back and see out the window because the back seats are higher up. The S3 sedan is like the perfect midpoint between the hardcore RS3 and the sedate A3. Basically, when you stop driving like you're on the run, you can go back to being civilised again. It's basically a thug in a suit. Honey, I'm home. To read our full review, click on this little guy right here. Ah, oh, and subscribe. That way you can stay on top of all our latest videos.